Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at heap sort as an algorithm. Now, heap sort is one of those very optimized, you know, sorting algorithms which requires very small amount of passes and everything. Um, basically, there are two types of heaps: one is the max heap, and one is the min heap. Um, a heap is just a binary tree in which the parent of the two children is either bigger or greater or less than the respective children. So, if it's greater than the children, the parent, obviously then it's a max heap and if it's less than the children then it's a min heap so an example would be you know a binary tree um, and it's not like a binary tree in which the the elements less than the root are th there's no concept of like less than root is going to the left and greater than root is going to the right there's no concept of like of that thing and uh, uh, and and unlike the actual binary tree like the search binary search tree uh, this can be easily represented in a heap and uh, in, a, in an array, sorry, and completely be sorted directly inside the array. You don't need to make a new temp or, you know, new memory location or anything like that. Just directly make it in the array. That's the power of the heap. And you can also use it to sort very easily. Um, so the f what are the things we're going to need for this? Um, so things we're going to need is basically, um, this is the framework which we've been working on like from before is the same, nothing has changed um, from the bubble sort algorithm till now, only the name on the top has changed of the framework, that's it. Um, so the first things we need to do is actually make a heap. Okay, so how do we fill the um, elements in the array over here? Over here we use this random function, that is the math.random multiplied by 100 and convert it to an integer and then put it in the array. So instead of this, uh, instead of making a new function which makes heaps, we can directly use this function, um, this whole for loop, and um, after every element is inserted into the array, we can use it to form the heap. So what are the properties of a heap? The first property of a heap is that the children of the heap reside in the indexes multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 2 plus 1. So if the parent of the, in parent of the heap, parent of that particular two children is at an index of 5, then the children will be an index of 10 and 10 plus 1 that is 11 so 10 and 11 will be the children of 5 index 5 similarly if uh, the index is 2 then the children will be at you know 2 into 2 which is 4 plus 1 5 4 and 5 easy um so how do we do that so over here we come uh, and also there's one more property which i wanted to tell you that um in the heap we use the concept of the first element okay the first element being um of, of the array obviously being the number of elements in the heap. So uh, suppose the uh, there are five elements in the heap. Okay, then the first element of the array will have the number five, and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, let's begin basically. So let's just uh, you know put the first element of the array that is a two sort array of zero is equal to zero, and after every insertion we will do two sort array of 0 plus plus because you know we want to get that value over there and fix it in our heads so after this we check okay so we do but there's one one problem now if we check using i we will lose the value of i and i is very important over here because we are always using i to you know increment the for loop so we'll do one thing we'll take int index is equal to i so now we have the value of i in index so we can use index of however we choose to use choose to use that rhymes anyway we use a for loop oh no 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 we don't use a for loop because then we have to start with a particular index initialization we use while loops so while let's just uh, form this so while to sort array of index by 2 is greater than this whole thing again let's just copy and paste uh, yeah, copy and pasting is the best thing that is ever invented. And index is not equal to zero. And also index by two is not equal to zero. Now, why did I do all these things? Uh, let me just tell you one more thing about the. Um, wait a second. Uh, I don't think this is necessary you know, because it's just redundant. If index of i is zero, I mean it, it won't even go in the loop, so it doesn't really matter because you know we're starting from. Uh, there's one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, never start from zero. You need to start from one. You know why? 
because we are uh, putting the counters at zero right so you know I like to share my mistakes with you guys because you know it, it makes you understand more with the mistakes okay so the mistake here was that two sort area of zero I was never supposed to be zero I was supposed to start from one and it's less than max and max here is 11 because you know you're taking a 10 at 10 elements so if the first element is already occupied then you have nine left but you want 10 elements so you t take max equal to 11 you can take max equal to 30 and it'll work perfectly don't worry it's a very general program um, so while two sort array index by two index is basically um, one more thing yeah the parent okay so I told you about the children that in children are at this, this location where is the parent so suppose you have a uh, suppose an element at six well, what, what, what is the parent of that element parent of the element is six by two obviously six by two will be three but at the same time you have an element at seven and what is the parent of that element then the parent of the element will be seven by two which is about three point um, five and three point five you truncate the point five and you get three so the element will be three so six and uh, seven will have the same parents obviously right so three will be the parent of six and seven so so if you multiply three by uh, two you get six and three plus one you get seven so just remember whenever you want to find the parent of anything in the heap you just divide that by two and truncate the point or whatever and then you eventually get the answer uh, so okay we are over here and uh, this is basically going to be a max heap or a min heap so what do you want it to be so two sort array if that is index by two if that is less than index if this is less than and we do it like this then this will be a min heap now this is a min heap but if you exchange this and make it greater than then it will be a max heap so let's just uh, we, we need to deal with a min, min heap maybe later on if I get time I'll deal with the max heap doesn't really matter it's the same thing you just have to have different concepts in mind so we go to min heap we are going to now uh, swap these elements so we go int temp oh let's just do it over here temp is equal to this whole thing I will encourage you not to copy and paste because you know sometimes you just mess up everything and you don't know what you messed up. I have been doing this for the past two days, so I know what I'm missing and what I'm not. So if if you are going to copy and paste, ensure you know ensure that you did not do any mistake. Really, it's very important that you do that. And obviously, after a while loop, you need to have something that is called the you know the case in which you check. So your index equal to index by two obviously you will need to change the value of index or else it will be an infinite while loop and the value we change over here is the divide by two because we want to get the parent and uh, it's going to flip if, if you don't understand this uh, you know by the coding sense i would encourage you to take a pen and paper and write it down and figure it out because this is the most important part if you don't create the heap there's no point of a heap sort obviously um and and the, always, always remember the main concept of the heap. This is a th there's also concepts like up adjust, down adjust. Those are very generic terms. This is this is basically here. Basically, we're doing an up adjust. We're adjusting the elements up. Okay, we're adding the, them to the end, and then incrementally we're going up and up and up and up in order to you know in the while loop. So this is basically our heap, which is I think done now. Yeah, it's done. So now just let's move on to the algorithm because you know that's what we are here for. Let me just check once if it's actually running. Yeah, see uh, see what happens. 94, okay. 94's children is uh 85 and 88 because 94 is like 1 and 1 times 2 is like sorry sorry um 94's children are uh, 92 and 85 because 94 is at one position and 1 times 2 is you know 92 and 1 times 2 plus 1 is 85 and uh, 92 is children and 88 and 85 similar this will be over here and this is basically a max heap um, oh sorry this is a max heap I messed up I'm sorry sometimes you make mistakes I can't help it anyway um, so to sort a max heap let's see uh, what sorting algorithms we can use so to sort this into a dis ascending array we can do 90 we can take 90 and put it at the end and then decrement this. So this will be our new array because the 90 will be over here and this will be a new array. This whole thing. Then we take 80 and put it over here. And th then this will be our new array. And similarly we can do the whole thing again and again so that we can get the answers properly. Um, so let us do that and again we're going to make, so once we take that element from the first position, put it at the last position, 
we'll need to go through this whole algorithm again, th this whole loop again, in order to ensure that a heap is properly, is basically following all the rules of the heap. If they don't follow the rules of the heap, then there's no point of having a heap sort, obviously. A a every time you change the heap, you need to s check it if it's actually a heap again. So let's just do that. So start and end of the algorithm. Okay, so I'm going to end it over here and we're going to continue in the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff. Yeah, I like that good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching.